Okay, what we're now going to do is rerun the uh, deterrence theory multiple linear regression and we're going to do two things differently. First of all we're going to introduce a third predictor to see if we can improve on the 4% uh, of the variance that we explained in compliant behavior using um, perceptions of certainty and severity. The second thing we're going to do is run this as a hierarchical regression and in step one we'll include our previous predictors from the standard regression so that part will be the same and then in step two we'll bring in legitimacy and that will, this will help us to answer whether or not uh, perceived legitimacy of the authority explains additional variance in law compliant behavior above and beyond what was already explained by certainty and severity. So we go analyze regression linear and if you haven't already got them in then you would put your dependent variable in there certainty and severity into the first step click on next which takes us to block two of two and we stick in legitimacy uh, I'll go through which options we'll choose again descriptive statistics part and partial correlations collinearity diagnostics and confidence intervals you don't need all of these things but um, this will give you everything that you might possibly want to interpret plus for hierarchical we'll also get the R squared change in plots we get the histogram normal probability plot and then we'll plot the predicted values against the residual values in save we'll check on at least Mahalanobis's distance and uh, there's no need to change things in options. I'm going to paste the syntax, go to my syntax file and run the analysis. Then I go to my output and we can interpret what we've got here. Still got 62 cases. Here we have um, the dependent variable these correlations are the same as last time but we note that there's a moderately strong correlation between positive correlation between legitimacy and compliance legitimacy's um, correlations with the other predictors are here and they're um, small to medium sized correlations Um, next, uh, we can see that two models have been conducted. The first had severity and certainty, and the th second model added legitimacy. Here's our model summary. Model 1 is the same as our previous standard regression, therefore it still explains 4% of the variance. Model 2 explains 30% of the variance and we can see here the significance for each model not significant for the first model and significant for the second model we can also see what the R squared change was so the change bet between the first and the second step was that we explained an additional 25.7 percent and this gives us here the significance of that change and that is a statistically significant change it probably didn't occur by chance. So legitimacy does explain additional variance in compliant behavior above and beyond uh, certainty and severity.